What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. And today, obviously, we're going to be talking about how you turn objectives off. Make yourself unsackable on FC24. Now, it's safe to say I've had a big say when it comes to objectives in this game. And in the past games, I've made quite a few videos about it. Some of my most popular videos on the channel. Because objectives for me are the most frustrating, monotonous, and dumbest thing in the game. If they were just removed, or you could just choose to not have to do the objectives... We wouldn't have to make videos like this. And unfortunately for you people that are watching on Xbox or PlayStation, I am extremely sorry. I really am because this is something that you can only do on PC. You cannot do it on PlayStation. You cannot do it on Xbox. I pray that this comes further down the line in FC25, maybe as close as that. But for right now, this is something you can only do on PC. Now, as we head over to the game here, you're going to see already we have done this. We've turned off the objective. Objective. We've done the FC. We've made it so we have 99 overall manager rating for the entire season. This is how it will stay and it will never change and you should never be sad. But obviously, you guys want to know how we've achieved this. Now, for this, you're going to need something that is called the Cheat Engine. It is very easy to download and it looks like this. It is very easy to download, quick and simple. You're going to need it with the live editor and the cheat table as well. I will leave all the links to this uh, down below if you are playing on PC and you haven't touched it. Modding is the way forward. If you have this game on PC, uh, modding really is the way forward i'll make more videos on that in the future there's a lot that you could do with this cheat engine actually in game if a, like it blows my mind how much you could do this game opens up and changes drastically when you have the use of mods and stuff like this so i, I do want to put that out there but for me for this one the main focus is the objective. I have made so many videos on it that it's only right that now we make a video showing how to just alleviate it and get rid of it. If you're a PC player, and if you aren't a PC player and you look up the specs and your PC can run it, I would definitely recommend it. Even if you can't run this on Ultra, I mean, I'm lucky I can with the new PC. But if I could run this on Medium, I've tried it on Medium, it looks just as good as the console version on Medium. You chuck in some mods, and oh my god, you've got an unbelievably different game, a different experience for yourself now i'm going to show you how to run all this stuff in a second and how you do it once you've uh, once you've downloaded them but look you're going to come up with this it's going to be this panel this is the bit we care about the scripts uh make sure it's ticked if it's not ticked you won't see all of these so make sure that scripts is ticked uh, and once it's ticked this is the thing manager unsackable you tick it in your game you'll fast forward a little bit that is it you are now unsackable like we are with dundee so that it is just simple as that you can also choose to never retire so the 15 season limit that is no more that has disappeared the game will run a lot worse as you go over time you can also just farm any job offer you would want as well you could just push that your way and if by some strange reason there's a glitch you still get sacked you can just go and give yourself a new job offer for the team you want now there is a google sheet that gives you all the numbers you need to put in for what team has a specific id in the game but i don't want to get too deep in depth with this i want this to be a quick fun video showing how we get rid of objectives in this game that's why rebuilds are going to be back i'm a rambler you know i am and we're finally going to have rebuilds back on the channel thanks to this so keep your eyes peeled for that but for now you're going to want to know how to run it let's just ignore all the background stuff there is a lot to learn, I extracted both folders into my document. I just put it down as FC24 mods. You can put it down as whatever, but just extract them both using WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you want uh, into a folder. And then you're going to have it looking like this. This folder right here, this is the one with the launcher for the, uh, the live editor. And then this is what you're going to need eventually. You're going to open this. But I had some issues on getting it to run. So this might help you if you can't get it to run. So I'm going to open the launcher right? I'm going to open the launcher. It gives me some... Ignore that. Ignore, honestly, it doesn't matter. But in order for me to make this run, I'm also going to open the cheat engine, the base cheat engine. Ignore the black screens. We're getting them pop up because it's gone into administration. But So I'm going to open up the base cheat engine and the live editor together. That's what you need to do. And then hit run game from here. You have to remember that you're not running the game from Steam or Origin. You are running it straight from the live editor and eventually the game will pop up. And what the live editor does as well is it blocks the anti-cheat because the biggest issue with mods on this game is the anti-cheat. But once we load up, we can get in. It does connect to the servers, but you don't need them. It doesn't matter. But when you do get into the game, the live editor should come up just like that. There we go. There's the live editor. That shows that the live editor is working. Now you can edit some stuff using the live editor. I, there's too much. 
to do with that. But there is a lot going on. You can do that. But now this is where you want to open the actual cheat table. Because the base cheat engine doesn't actually do anything. But I've noticed you have to have this open in order for the live editor to run it. I, I don't know why. Don't ask me why, but this worked for me. We'll close the old cheat engine, and now in that mod folder I made, we have this, which will be the cheat table. After a while, it will start to load up a little bit like this. It'll say ready to use, and there you go. You've got these scripts, and that is as simple as that. You click back on the game, and, and you're good to go. F9 brings up the live editor and turns it down, and, and that's it. This is the, the base level to mod in for FC24. And that's just it, as simple as that. And this is the base level, the entry level of what you can do to the game. There, there is so much more that you can do over time, and so many more mods. I'm only just beginning to explore. I used to mod FIFA back in the day, and then my PC couldn't handle it as well as recording, but here we are, we're back doing it again, and I'm back letting you know all the good stuff that you need to use. If you've used this and you're loving it, let me know. There's tons of other stuff you could do and if there's any great mods that you know of let me know of them as well for me i'm going to be going with the realism mod the overhaul i'm happy to pay my 10 pounds a month to have that but i appreciate you all thank you for watching this video if you want some korean mode content make sure to watch all the great stuff on the channel i am going to go play this game modded and have a really good time take care people